Hey guys, so today um, for another video we are going to be reviewing a Briar Smarty Jones on obviously the Smarty Jones mould. Um, this model I believe was one if not the first on the mould to be made. Um, personally you hardly see any or I hardly see any Smarty Joneses in mint condition blah 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 so today um i've decided to do smarty jones because um i've had a few people ask me what he is like and if he is anything like frank or or secretariat i will compare them however i will ha compare them in another video um for you guys so for my opinion on this guy is um for a thoroughbred, he's got very chunky hindquarters, um, which I have seen a few very chunky thoroughbreds, but not as chunky as this. He is a very, very dark bay, I believe. He, or chestnut, I can't tell. He looks bay to me, but I'm not that clever. <laughs> um, his eye detailing is... Um, I think it's got a slight tinge of brown, but it looks black, if that makes sense. Um, it could just be black and white. My eyes could just be annoying me. But his base has Smarty Jones written on it, which I find good that Briar did it, so you can identify him. Um, this dude is in... Mint condition apart from that one shiny mark, which I just gave him by accident. Um, and dust is all over him, which is annoying. But this guy just has normal, like, creamy yellow, um, white hooves, and a black coof. And obviously he is shod. Um, he has a gorgeous star. Which is good. No. To be honest. Um, what I have noticed is the newer models. Seem to have overspray. All over them. Um, this guy has no overspray whatsoever. Anywhere. Yep. No overspray at all. Um, which I think is good. Considering he's one of the older versions of the mould. So... That is literally just my opinion. Um, and the only reason I started liking this mould is I think I got Briar. Who did I have? Who did I get? I think he was my first on the mould. Because my goal was to get at least two of him. Um, or two of the mould, I should say. Um... Which I well and truly accomplished. Um, but I fell in love with the mold because of him. He is just gorgeous. Um, he stands very well. Ignore the mess that you're going to see. He stands like that. Um, and I think that is good. The stand is literally as if it is stuck to his foot. Um, which is good because you do see the occasional Frankel, Windtalker, the Polo Pony, who doesn't actually stand on their stand. Now, the muscle detail on this horse is good for a thoroughbred. He's very muscly. Um, thoroughbreds are built to be when they race um, because of their training techniques. Um, it builds up their hindquarters and their forequarters, if that makes sense. Their front legs, there we go, just to say that. And the, le and the neck muscle. Um, basically, thoroughbreds are worked hard, but mostly they're worked hard to win money, if that makes sense. But yeah, that is my review on Smarty Jones. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.